and you can see through this airplane. You can see through this airplane, and I think that's a great thing. Now, there are people that you like a little structure around you and the feeling of a thin piece of aluminum gives you comfort, well, then maybe this isn't your airplane. But if you like to look and see what's outside the airplane, this is great for that. Not only does it have all these clear panels, top and bottom and sides and everywhere, although not overhead here, so it's not going to be so hot in a summer climate like Florida offers, but you got lots of visibility everywhere. And if you can bring your camera angle over here, Dave, you'll see quite a bit of bubbling to the uh, uh, window, uh, door window, which really gives you the ability to, you can, you can look almost aft at the tailplane without having to look through the plastic at the back. Very unique kind of airplane. Now, construction-wise, then, is this a, a metal or a fuselage that they're using in this is an all-metal airplane uh, with metal going out to the first bay here, which uh, encompasses the fuel tank, and from there out, we're to fabric material. Uh, but that, of course, helps keep the weight down a lot. This is an airplane originally designed in uh, Kiev, Ukraine, a place Americans didn't know much about 20 years ago, but indeed there's a lot of background there. Some people from the Antonov Design Bureau, which is one of the big Soviet airplane producers, when all that business ended, uh, these folks went off and formed their own airplane company and created a bunch of interesting designs. This one now is being largely fabricated, almost wholly fabricated, right here in Florida, down in Sebring, where the big Sebring LSA Expo happens, by a company called Float Planes and Amphibians. But that's kind of a long name, so they've kind of shortened everything now to just FPNA, Float Planes and Amphibians, and that's, that's the name of their website. Now, what type of control system are you using it? Well, this one's a little different. We've uh, talked mostly about joystick airplanes. You can see through the window here, though, uh, this one uses dual yokes. Full dual control, very nice, very kind of 150-like. For those folks that are used to flying with a control yoke, they'll find this one right at home. Very nice, docile flying characteristics, and they have this one available on a very nice set of amphibious floats, which they also make themselves. That model they call the Cape Town. This one is called the Valor, the A-22 Valor. And what kind of power are they using for it? Again, we use the Rotax 912S, the 100 horsepower variant. And if they want to get more information, the website is? It's very simple. It's FPNA, which is an abbreviation for float planes and amphibians, but FPNA.com. And you also have a, a, a review on this, Dan? I have done a pilot report on this one, and it's available on my website at bydanjohnson.com. That's bydanjohnson.com.